someone who's trying to use the month of Ramadan as a stepping stone to become better, it is wrong for you to refer to that individual as a Ramadan Muslim. It is wrong for you, my brothers and my sisters, to look down at that individual. Oh, he only comes to the masjid when it's Ramadan. She only wears a hijab, right? Because it's Ramadan. Fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Like I said, the scene has been set. It is the perfect opportunity now for them to better themselves. This is from the blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal. From His favors that He picks certain times of the year for one now to become more closer to Him. And Allah sets this scene for us. Nobody will be able to understand your pain but Allah. So talk to Allah, connect with Him. It will help you. It will give you a reason to look forward to tomorrow. Don't stress. If today is wrong, tomorrow will be right. And if today is right, something might go wrong according to you tomorrow. According to Allah, it did not go wrong. It was His plan for you and for me. Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ about Laylatul Qadr. Whoever can stand in the night of Laylatul Qadr, meaning pray. So the best thing you can do as a night starts is pray. Nawafil, nawafil, nawafil. The best thing you can do is when you're in sajda, just make du'as. He gave certain qualities to that prayer. Whoever prayed before Allah out of faith, they were completely convinced that this prayer is going to be the best thing that's happened to me. They have this confidence and this reliance on Allah in these prayers like no other. I'm aware of my sins, I'm aware of my flaws, I'm aware of what I've done, and I'm coming before Allah standing in prayer, ashamed and humiliated and completely convinced that Allah will forgive me and bless me. If you can pull that off, whatever took place of any kind of embarrassing sin such a person had done has all been guaranteed to be forgiven. That kind of prayer is much easier to do when you're by yourself. But this is a night where you just want to just be you and Allah in tears. That's what it needs to be. Stand before Allah, recite the Quran, or make your du'as before Allah. Get some rest, pray, get some rest, pray again, get some rest, pray again. But do that in these nights. Don't get angry. Anger is from shaitan. Don't get angry. So what? They showed their colors. Those colors are not mine. I will still smile all the way, subhanallah. And I know you don't butter my bread, my beloved brother or sister. You want to speak bad about me? My bread and the butter comes from Allah, subhanallah. We have a bad habit of judging people based on what they look like. Why are you judging? You don't know anything. You have no clue what has gone on in his or her life. You don't even know the circumstance. Are you prepared to know? Are you prepared to help them? No, you're not. Do you know why? You need help yourself. The Prophet ﷺ says very clearly, look at those who are lower than you. You don't have shoes. Look at those who don't even have feet. Look at those who don't have legs. They cannot walk. Subhanallah.